Hello, I'm Dr. Vipin Kumar Tyagi from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. Today I'm going to discuss technical communication. But before we proceed, let's understand the term communication. The word communication is derived from the Latin word communicare, which means to share. But when this word came into English language, its meaning was multiplied. Today in English, the word communication means a process of sharing information. In other words, it is a transmission and interaction of facts, ideas, opinions, etc. It is therefore a common ground of understanding. If you want to go in detail, you can watch my previous video in which I have discussed communication, its definition and process of communication. In this video lecture, we are going to take the another important topic that is technical communication. Technical communication is a means to share scientific, engineering or other technical information. It helps users to accomplish a definite goal or task. Therefore, it is that kind of communication which is used in technical subjects. It is a specialized branch of communication which is used in technical subjects. It tailors information for scientific people. Literally, the word technical means connected with practical use of machinery, method, etc. in science and industry. And communication means sharing of information. So technically, technical communication means sharing of information in technical manner. According to Professor J. R. Nelson, it is a specialized form of exposition, a form of discourse distinguished from other forms in certain essential features. It is a specialized form of exposition because it has some specialized features. It is specific as it is for a specific purpose and with a specific purpose. A technical writer has to inculcate such an effective and comprehensive communication system that is easily intelligible to the audience. To make communication effective, a technical communicator should keep some points in his mind. Professor S.D. Sharma beautifully highlights six important features of technical communication, namely clarity, objectivity, simplicity, brevity, utility and technical presentation. These six features may be abbreviated as cause plus but. So let's discuss the first element of technical communication that is clarity. Clarity in communication implies clarity of language, words and sentences. And it is also clarity of ideas. Prudent communicator always uses normal words and sentence structures which are easily understandable to the audience. In fact, effective technical communication depends upon the amount of clarity. It is the sole responsibility of the communicator to execute it as much as possible. It is clarity that reduces ambiguity and obscurity. It enables to understand the masses easily. It solidifies and shapes a complex expression and makes it comprehensive even for the common audience. A conscious technical writer avoids ambiguity and chooses the words and expressions that are common to the reader or the audience. In fact, familiar and easy words convey the meaning more effectively. Now let's discuss the another important feature of technical communication that is objectivity. Objectivity in technical communication means opposite of subjectivity. Objectivity in technical communication means that the author explains his message without being biased. He explains it without his personal viewpoint, experience and mental attitude. This lets the recipient to determine his own opinion. 
while general communication has personal feelings, ideas, opinion and mental attitude. A person who has a subjective viewpoint sees the things only from his own position which is not universal. Simplicity is the another important feature of technical communication. Technical communicator is expected to use simple words, phrases, sentence, construction and ideas. As a technical person has no time to consult dictionary. It makes the communication easy to understand and interesting. To acquire this, a communicator works hard because he has to choose simple words and simple sentences instead of complex ones. In this way, he hardly uses complex sentences, complex words, compound sentences. The another feature of technical communication is brevity. It means shortness or conciseness of expression. William Shakespeare regards it the soul of wit. He says, brevity is the soul of wit. It is essential in technical communication because it maximizes information density as concise thoughts are more understandable than the longer ones. It also saves time. Therefore, a technical writer should avoid roundabout expressions, circumlocution, verbosity that confuses the reader. In fact, brief sentences make communication more effective and comprehensive because long sentences do not show pedantry but only confuse the readers or listeners. The another important feature of technical communication is utility. Utility means the quality or state of being useful. It means that communication should have only important information without being irrelevant and untruthful. Technocrats or professionals have to present only important and useful facts and information. There is none a business that has time to read irrelevant masses which is not of any particular utility. In other words, technical communication is always useful and has no place for the information which is not useful for the technical people. Now let's talk about the last feature of technical communication that is technical presentation. Presentation literally means the way in which something is arranged or designed. Therefore, technical masses requires a definite presentation style through different forms of technical communication like applications, letters, reports, memoranda, notice, circular and others. Not only in writing, it is technically presented in speaking. In fact, technical communication is quite different from general communication. We would learn it later on. A technical writer requires numerous technical styles like graphs, tables, images, data interpretation, images, visuals to make his presentation more effective, authentic and technical. Now let's talk about the difference between technical communication and general communication. If technical communication is important for technical purpose, then general communication is equally important for general purpose. General communication plays a vital role in our social life. It has six main features like technical communication which can be abbreviated by a simple formula. Whereas technical communication is characterized by clarity, objectivity, simplicity, brevity, utility and technical presentation, general communication is characterized by ambiguity, subjectivity, pomposity, diffuseness, pleasurability and free form. While technical communication can be abbreviated by course plus but, general communication can be abbreviated by ASP plus DPF. Now let's see the difference between the first element of that is clarity and the first element of general communication that is ambiguity. Clarity means clarity of language, words and sentences we have already learned. 
while ambiguity means something that doesn't has a clear meaning general communication is always ambiguous the sentences and the words can have more than one meaning while technical communication one sentence has only one meaning in technical communication objectivity implies impersonality and object orientedness while subjectivity in general communication stands for subjective ideas personal views there is no place for personal emotions in technical communication while a general communicator is free to use his emotions feelings personal ideas etc like in novels drama poetry in technical communication we have simplicity that makes technical communication interesting and effective it is neither dull or obstructive neither flippant nor pompous while pomposity in general communication means exaggerated or decorated therefore a general communicator uses highly decorative and pompous language unlike a technical communicator except it a general communicator is bound to use many literary styles such as circumlocution euphemism bombastic expressions figure of speech and complex sentences now we have the another feature of technical communication that is brevity it is said to be the soul of wit it means briefness and compact therefore technical communicator does not use words and round about sentences and expression in it while d stands for diffuseness in general communication which simply means wordy intense structures the another feature of technical communication is of course utility utility means that technical communication should have only important information and should be without circumlocution without being irrelevant and untruthful technocrats or professionals have to present information in a useful way while in general communication we have pleasurability means entertainment or pleasure broadly speaking general communication is meant for pleasure and entertainment for example the sole purpose of all literary forms such as drama poetry novel comedy tragedy is to entertain and later to instruct the another important feature of technical communication is technical presentation it plays important role and that's why technical writer uses many forms to present his message such as applications reports memoranda notice etc in a particular format not only in writing in technical presentations oral technical presentation it also plays a very important role whereas we have technical presentation in technical communication we have free form in general communication free form stands for without any form general communication is simply the expression of personal feelings as we know and that requires no particular format unlike technical communication therefore a general communicator is bound not to follow any form of presentation to convey his ideas now let's talk about the importance of technical communication it is essential in an organization because it serves as a medium to share information among or amongst the employees here are many departments and each department communicates on periodic basis in respect to two daily activities it is extremely important for the decent functioning of an organization in fact no organization can exist if its members cannot freely communicate an organization is successful if all the members have effective communicative interactions it also enables good relationship and proper coordination among all the departments or staff within the organization and mitigates unnecessary misunderstanding it is a herculean task to discuss its importance in different fields as it is used differently with different purposes 
it is a fact that the present era is known as the age of communication and information george r terry states communication serves as a lubricant for the smooth operations of the management process here are some of the points under which we will try to discuss the importance of technical communication let's see them it is important for coordination for technical advancement management efficiency or managerial efficiency better productivity effective leadership decision making planning cooperation and paperless communication and even technical communication is important today for human survival thank you